Hello guys, welcome to Chili Chili. Today I am going to show you how to make a character walking animation which you can see on the screen that the panda is walking on a road. Okay, so I am going to write the HTML and CSS code for it. Okay, I am not going to use any kind of JavaScript code. So, first of all, you need to download a sprite set that is called this type of sprite set you can google it and you can find any sprite sprite set that you like okay so i have downloaded uh, image or sprite set for a panda and uh, you can see this and i have also downloaded the image and in the properties like you can see there the width is 3000 pixels and the height of the sprite set it uh, is 354 pixels okay so for each uh, section or each panda you can see here that the width of which panda is 3000 divided by 12 that is uh, approximate 250 pixels and the height of the panda is 354 pixels okay so now we can choose any sprite set and uh, like uh, this sprite set you can choose uh, Mario or Pokemon or anything or any cartoon I have choose the panda so now let's start how to make it here I am not going to use any kind of JavaScript code and uh, I am writing the title that is character walking character walking okay now I have to link the CSS file and this file is the style set and I have to reference its address that is panda.css okay now in the body tag I will write a div tag and close it now I'm going to give it a ID of runner and now I'm again opening a div tag and closing it I am writing this div tag for the road or you can see that in the animation you can see this this road or the line okay so I write this for that line okay now I'm going to save this and in the CSS file first of all for the body I'm going to write the background color I would like to give it to orange color and then after for the road I am giving it I have given it the ID of road so I have used the hashtag and I have written road now for the road I would like to give the border bottom is uh, you can say 7 pixel and that's it and it is a color of black or any color you want now for the ID runner we have to give the URL or we are applying the background property that is the URL now we have to write the URL in the quotation mark and I am going to find out that URL ok now I, here is my URL ok I am copying this and I am going to paste it ok now that's fine now the next property I'm going to apply is the width that is 250 pixels and uh oh and uh, the height is 330 pixels okay now let's see why we had we have taken this because in the properties you can see this the total width of this sprite set is 3000 pixels and the height is 354 pixels but the height also includes the more space than it requires for the panda you can check it by try and error and for the weight you can see this there are 12 pandas here and uh, for each panda the, the width is 3000 divided by 12 that is 250 Okay, so we have taken here 
350 width and sorry 250 width and 330 height okay now we are going to apply the animation now here is the most important thing that we should notice that we have to take two animation um, because first for the first animation you can see this we have to move the hand and legs for the for of the panda and we are applying animation one to the panda and for moving forward to the x-axis we are applying the transform property or we, we will use the second animation so we can say that the first animation is for moving the hand and legs for of the panda and the second animation is moving the panda towards the x-axis or the positive x axis okay so now see now it's for infinite time okay now I have given the name of walk and it will last for one second and the steps is 12 I you should notice that I have taken the steps 12 because there are 12 pandas in the sprite sheet okay if there are 15 then I should take 15 okay and it will last for infinite time and now for the second animation I cannot do the semicolon I have to do a single comma and the second animation name is I am giving forward it will last for 5 seconds and its animation time function is linear and it will for infinite time and I am applying the semicolon here now I have given the 5 seconds here because the panda will complete its first uh, road journey in 5 seconds ok you can notice this ok now for the keyframes uh, for the animation name walk at 0% you can say ok now at the 0% you can say that we want the background position to be zero pixels okay because first of all when the, when we are starting the animation we don't want that the panda shows up okay now at 100 percent we want the background position to be at 3000 pixels because we have just noticed that in the properties there is a width of 3000 pixels so we have taken here that at 0% the panda will perform will perform this this uh, you can say this uh, this section will execute this section and then 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 it will go from left to right or from this panda to this panda okay so we have given this 3000 pixels here okay now that's it for this keyframes and now for the second keyframes you can say for the forward animation name now at 0% you can give yeah we will have to transform and translate the x-axis from minus 100 pixels here we have taken the here we have taken the translation of x axis to minus 100, 100 pixels because in the starting of the animation we don't want our panda to appear at our screen okay so the panda will come out from outside of the of the screen okay now i'm also applying the transform and i want to translate the x axis to 12,000 pixels sorry 1200 pixels okay <clears throat> I have taken here 1200 pixels because we want it to full to fill our whole screen okay generally our computer screen is of the width of 1200 pixels okay 
so now i'm going to save this and i am opening the html code and i am opening it in the browser and now we can see this the panda is running okay now here we have applied the first animation for this rotation of the hand and legs and the second animation we have applied is for the moving forward the panda in the positive x-axis and we have taken the road as this you can say the dashed line okay now we can also put here different properties of uh, like uh, you can say i can also put solid road or um, dotted or which is or etc you can google it by finding the border properties okay so what we do we are dotted then i'm going to save it and i'm opening in the browser okay now you can see this there's a dot 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 line okay so thank you guys for watching this video and if you like this enjoyed this video then please like and subscribe to this channel this will help my channel to grow okay so i will see you in the very next video thank you guys for watching this video